Here I have already opened Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now here today we are focusing how to select an image properly. See here we have three tools. Lesser tool, polygonal lesser tool, magnetic lesser tool. Now lesser tool simply selects randomly. It does not select anything properly. What polygonal lesser tool do? Let me first deselect it. I am pressing Ctrl D on my keyboard to deselect the selection. The polygonal lesser tool selects everything in a polygon. See, again pressing Ctrl D to deselect. Now, the proper selection can be done with Magnetic lesser tool. See it. What magnetic lesser tool does is it automatically runs like a magnet wherever it will find the pixels of same color. See if I am selecting this hairs, it's automatically running wherever it's finding this black color pixels. Now I take a pause. Now again I am continuing. It as it runs very fast. So we better to have pause in between. Now it's selecting green pixels. Wherever it's finding green it's running over there. It does not make straight line as it runs always. See. Now what we can do is we can add to simply selection to select it properly. This add to selection rectangular with marquee till selected. Yep. Better. Now copy it, I paste it on another image so that you can see how we have done. See Control T on my keyboard for transform to adjust the size or you may find it here. Edit, transform Control T, free transform, Control T. Yep. C. But still, we can give much more finishing to it with Blur Tool. Blur Tool does what is it lightens the pixels from the corner. It is it's a good practice to use this tool only in the corner of image as otherwise it's gonna mess up our image if we will do it in center see from wherever I use I'm using blur it, it's smoothing that pixel Now, the another method to select more properly. Control D on my keyboard. The another tool for selecting properly is magic wand tool. The short key is W. Now, see, if I make tolerance to 10 pixel. Notice it has selected pixels itself matching to the white background. So the tolerance I have given is 10. I see, little bit parts are still left to select. Now, what if I give tolerance to 
50. Let's check it out. See, this, this is also selected from here also. That can be very easily rectified. 50 pixels look very fine to me. Now, with the help of this minus tool, minus selection, I can, uh, with the elliptical marquee tool, minus selection, Yep, it's look fine to me. Now rectangular marquee tool minus si minus selection subtract from selection selected. Now we are selecting white portion. Add to selection. Yep. Now this what we have done is we have selected the white portion on, on my image white portion of my image but we have to select this girl not the background right now what we have done is we have selected the white portion we have to inverse our selection see what I mean is when I press ctrl C ctrl V I'm turning off background layer to show you what we have done we have selected this white portion right now now Again turning off background, turning off layer 1, turning on background layer. My selection has gone somewhere. So nothing to worry friends. Here select, reselect. I can easily reselect it from here. Now what I do is control shift I on my keyboard. Or you may do it from here. Select inverse shift plus control plus I okay now control C control V see what we have is much more better selection now we can again to make our pixels smooth from corner we can use blur tool but another thing I'm gonna show you is feather feathering the pixels see it will look much more better with the use of feather select modify say I give feather of 20 pixel yeah now see what happened L layer 2 so it's much more matching up with the background layer so this is how we select properly in Photoshop. So that is all for today friends. Friends, for this subjects, I'm also conducting online classes now. So if you want to learn directly from me, you may call me or email me. So till then, goodbye friends. Have a nice day. And do subscribe to me.